Pam, how's fun week? So much fun. It's totally <laughs> the F word I was thinking about. It's a little sweaty, a little human. Are you going to be a year in August? I'll be a year in August. Oh, that makes my heart smile. Yes. You heart can play smile. around with vegetables. It's an mm, exciting year. Truth. Working on the overhand grip. Or holding my body up. It's all fun. I got a little muscle right in there. Uh, focus. There it is. <laughs> Ooh. See, I, I play with that muscle and grip strength related to mortality. We know it correlated. Yes, sir. <laughs> so just finished the morning classes doing the second one with the group. Um, you know, but I've seen some video of me pulling out the Lancaster Farm Fresh Cooperative where the community sustained agriculture that we partnered with. Um, I get a medium share myself and I get to use things like turnips that I never thought I'd ever like before and I get to uh, using a lot of those vegetables. So for us at Recharge, a big part of this is looking at other things of our health that affects us other than just exercise and getting away from the notion of every time you go see your doctor, they say, well, just you know, eat better and move more. Well, that's great, but how do you do it? So our goal is one, we can do the movement aspect really, really well, but what about the fuel nutrition? Well, the easiest part of that for us is just bringing awareness to what people are eating here in our community, but additionally setting up opportunities for them to get a better idea of how to eat, how to get more vegetables and stuff like that. And having something like a CSA partner with a CrossFit gym just kind of seemed like a no brainer. Right, of having all these vegetables readily available every week. For me, it's been, it's forced me to be like, oh my gosh, what do I, how do I make out of this? Or what do I do? I've done it as simple as just making all my leafy greens, you know, um, salads, and I made all the other vegetables and roasted them to making actual recipes. And um, it's nice because, one, I know that there's always vegetables available for me now, and I don't have to worry about what do I need to pick up from the store. It's just, it's there and it's easy. And it's made that choice of, oh man, did I, should I get vegetables in this meal or not? Irrelevant now because it's just there. It's added to almost everything. And that simplicity to me is huge. And I hope that's what we were helping to convey to our members too. So uh, the CSA, the vegetables, the fuel, the nutrition portion of this is probably the hardest thing I think for myself, but for a lot of community members. And if we can make that choice easier, if we can take our own willpower out of it and just make things readily available, it's nice that we have that opportunity. So we're, we're thankful for Lancaster Farm Fresh Co-op partnering up with us and making us a, you know, a pit stop for them. And I think a lot of our members benefited too. So here's the turnips and whatever I'm going to make with them and go from there. So at some point, We've all become fascinated with abs. I, I don't know where it started. Ryan, do you know where it started? He doesn't know. This, this whole idea that your abs, you need to have defined abs as a sign of fitness or even health is a little ridiculous. Like, yeah, you should have a smaller waistline because that's indicative of overall health, especially for men because that bigger waistlines can be uh, a precursor to diabetes and things like that. But like, I'm talking about abs, like look at any Instagram fitness page. It's all about the abs. And then we started to associate abs as core, which is not the case. And then we started to break down the abs into upper abs, lower abs, and it's just gotten ridiculous. So today on the vlog, we're going to break down the abs and we're going to look at using EMG, we're going to play it, play around with EMG from uh, Flexor Go company. It's really cool wireless um, stick on EMG. And we're going to look at the abs. We're going to show you how the abs work and go into in depth, break through all the different myths, concerns, issues, anything that you've ever thought you needed to know about abs, you're going to know today on the vlog. Let's get into it. Ready? 
ready to stick on some EMG on your abs? Sure. Let's do it. So we're gonna use the EMG units from Flex or Go. First thing about the abs. So the abs are broken into four parts. We have the rectus abdominis, which is usually the six pack ab. It's one big sheath, one long piece of muscle. Then we have obliques. We have internal and external obliques. So that's three. And then we have a deep layer of muscle called the transversus abdominis, which is just think of it like a, a, a big girdle, a big giant belt around your internal organs. And that's really the main function of the abdominals. The number one function of the abdominals is to make sure your organs do not pop out of your body. And that sounds gross, I get it. But that's the number one job is to make sure your organs stay inside. When that doesn't happen, it's called a hernia. When that abdominals tear and your organ pops out. That's a medical problem. Here's what we wanna look at today. We have these EMG units. We're gonna stick them on Ryan, on his abdominals, and we're gonna show you, Ryan's gonna do different motions, different exercises, and you'll get to see what EMG does. It shows muscle activation. When the fibers contract, we'll get to see through the, uh, through the electrodes and these sensors of what's happening inside his body. Let the experiment begin. You ready? Shirt off. Boom. All right, let's stick on. Sold my soul officially now. There's the last piece of it. What do you want this? Here? Sure. We got the electrodes or the EMG units on, on. The eye patch showing exactly what's going on. So number one is the upper. Number two is the low. So Ryan is gonna do, let's start with planks. So planks are good abdominal working motions or exercise because it's an isometric contraction. Again, it, since the abdominals main job is to keep organs inside the body, that means those abdominals are essentially always on, always working to some extent. So let's take a look at what's going on here. So right now, if you can take a, if you see the line squiggling, between the upper and the lower. Pretty close. How long am I holding this? You getting tired? Yeah. Where do you feel it the most as you're doing this? Um, probably upper abs, end quotes. <laughs> you can see the EMG activity is pretty close between the two. What do you think? How do you feel? Uh, tired. Did one feel different compared to the other? Um, I mean, I probably feel my upper quote unquote abs more, but nah, it's pretty spread all around. It's just hard to do. How about a side plank? This is just hard. Side plank activity? It's real hard. <laughs> So here, we're gonna have a lot more muscle belly. So we would expect a little bit more muscle activation. And break. Okay. <laughs> hollow rocks. Oh gosh. <laughs> or at least hollow holds. Okay. Oh gosh. All right, so we're gonna do a hollow hold now, or a reverse plank. Now he's rocking. You can see the muscle activation between the two. Number two is the lower, number one is the upper. Okay. Woo! Oh, I'm done. So hard. All right, so those motions pretty much work the rectus abdominis, the, that forward six back muscle, right? So that muscle really is activated all the time because it has to keep the organs in, but also think of it in a forward and back plane. Um, but your, your oblique muscles really get activated in that side plank position, but really in rotational motions, so twisting motions. So next, we're gonna take those uh, EMG units, 
place them more on the sides on um, on Ryan and see which motion which exercise really gets that oblique firing I'm guessing it's gonna be something with resisted rotation sounds about right all right let's So he's getting a lot more, you can see this EMG unit. This EMG unit is getting a lot more activity, a lot more muscle activity because it's much more in line with where the obliques are. This one here, while still has some fibers of the obliques, is a little bit high and inside, so this gets right where that rectus abdominis muscle is. That six back muscle, it's right in line where the two kind of connect. This one is a lot more flush with the obliques, which makes sense when he was doing the exercise, you saw a lot more activation from the muscle, which is pretty cool, pretty cool to see. How you feeling? Sore. It's all for science. Uh, hashtag science. So that should start to paint a bit of a clearer picture for you that the main job of the abdominals is to keep your organs inside your body, that rotational motions really work the obliques. Um, and if you really wanna target the obliques, you can focus on rotation with the legs, but you could also focus with rotation with the body. And think about increasing the challenge for your abdominals with isometric contractions. So even if you're doing rotational motions, by creating that isometric contraction or having a band and holding the band will put more challenge on those muscles because that's what they're designed to do is really create that isometric force, meaning without a lot of motion. Talk about core. Tell us a little bit about core, Ryan. What about core? Is, is core abdominals? No, core is everything else. Well, everything. Side back and everything in between so the core is like a three-dimensional concept not an actual one muscle interesting how that works isn't it hmm mm. Mm. it also contains your diaphragm and your pelvic floor mm. so up down left right all around inside and out actually i think it's just my six-pack Definitely, it's got what's gonna be. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's a good bit dense of stuff there. Hope you enjoyed science experiment with the EMG activity, and um, we'll try to do a little more of this kind of uh, fun experiments for you. Get some hashtag science in there. Vlog over. Catch you again. What's the day? Wednesday on Friday. If you're enjoying these, make sure you subscribe to our channel three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we'll be coming out with vlogs like this.